Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to a game between a Lubber and a Neutron. Lubber spawning under the name Eucalyptus on the bottom left hand side of the map. This game taken from the ESL Pro Tour qualifier in Europe. These are the closed qualifiers as this game being played here on Northern Isle. At the opposite end of the map, a hop, skip, and a jump away, we have Neutron spawning as the, well, purple night elf. Why are the colors there we go. Uh, um, green and purple coming across here, fixing those colors off to the north. Amazing colors, dark green. Um, dark green on a map like this, difficult to spot. Sometimes it looks like the same color as the grass, but we'll see what can happen here. So very, very interesting game getting underway. We should, well, it should be an interesting game. You always hope for that. And, and well, Sorry, just trying to get into the mental mindset of casting. Had to help my daughter with something. And, well, yeah. And now trying to get back into the correct mindset and the correct focus. Uh, I guess I've been shout casting so long, I... I need to cast what I'm doing in order to help move me along. And already, Lubber opening up with a Lich first. Um, that was the sudden pause right there. A uh, lich first. Um, I, I, I'm trying to extrapolate what type of strategies we'll be looking for in this matchup. Lich first going up against a demon hunter. Um, that is not going to be good news for that lich whatsoever. Um, going lich first in the past was pretty much um, like unheard of because of how because demon hunter first was such a common hero and demon hunter first going up against lich first well the lich just gets mana burned into oblivion um as the hero choices and everything changes up now go ahead and we'll finish off that demon hunter there you go Arya, do you need help you got it yes okay all right, always one of those moments when you realize your 10-year-old daughter is, um, well, turning on the stove right behind you. You're like, wait, everything okay? If normally she is not up this early and I can get in some cast without having to worry. Anyways, Lich first now making its round out. We see double sacrificial skulls, Rod of Necromancy. Acolyte is already on the way over. Demon Hunter is already at level two with a potion of greater mana and should be able to do a lot of things here. Coming back down to the south, are we going to see Frost Nova? Yes, onto that over Magi. And here we are, in comes that Ziggurat as well. So first, exp uh, Lich first fast expansion attempt, Pendant of Energy. Um, well, that is going to be helpful, but helpful for who? As the Demon Hunter will most likely just be mana burning that Lich a lot. There goes a Frost Nova onto that Demon Hunter there. Demon Hunter, well, unable to actually close in on that distance as we see a quick detonation being used once more. At Ziggurat, under a lot of pressure right now, are we going to see more damage onto that Demon Hunter? There is another Frost Nova right there, and I don't believe the Demon Hunter was actually quite expecting that as we could see the Acolyte here get taken down. Acolyte, um, well, uh, wow, the Ziggurat down to 33 hit points, somehow able to survive. Lich is still right there. Demon Hunter going to come back to the other side and this ziggurat well down to 84 hit points down to 75 is it going to be able to survive here and it does end up surviving blight is available and all of a sudden the demon hunter is stuck in a really tough spot demon hunter gonna go ahead and escape at 15 hit points that lich went back away at the well pretty much the last possible moment i went i am surprised that this acolyte is not repairing this ziggurat right now as that ziggurat was well, what was enabling that blight, and now that it is upgrading to a Nerubian Tower, will be worth much, much more. Dark Ritual as that second ability. Rod of Necromancy going to be very important to get mana back onto that Lich here in just a moment. We're going to see, well, there's that Replenishment Potion as well. Uh, going to go ahead and, well, use the Dark Ritual and then pick it back up. Now back up to 178 mana. That is the same strategy as dropping your Pendant of Energy and then using Moon Wells. You will have more mana overall as the Lich could be in a little bit of trouble here. Archer is now trying to slip back away. There is another Dark Ritual and now getting back up to 240. That is a lot of micro. As you see a Frost Nova go down, Ghoul ends up getting taken down there. Mana Burn onto that Lich as the Demon Hunter tries and slip back. All right, more damage going to be had, had back across over here. Demon Hunter, is it going to get another mana burn? Yes, it does. There is another Dark Ritual trying to finish off more units. Unable to do all, all of the necessary things, though. 
as such as dropping that pendant of energy and picking it back up lich is still off to the side is it going to get more damage demon hunter with evasion able to dodge some of that damage there some great micro and some interesting interesting strategies already early on as neutron now setting up an ancient protector just outside of the blight there is a Nerubian Tower here, Graveyard, Ziggurat. This fast expansion attempt here on Northern Isle by the Undead with a Lich first, which is incredibly, um, well, micro-intensive, as we have seen. Ring of Protection plus three. We should be looking at an additional Rod of Necromancy. Surprised that we haven't seen the Lich try to pick up another one yet. Potion of Replenishment. No, you cannot use that one. Find the other one. All right, Ancient Protector now going to go ahead and root itself back in uh, once again. We're looking at the we're looking at the ghouls. Well, it, uh, absorbing a bit of damage. Lich wants to well get off a of Frost Nova, gets a Frost Nova off. But the ghouls are now taken down. A lot of damage being absorbed as we're looking at well uh, Neutron pushing in pressure with the Naga Sea Witch. Damage coming back through. There goes another uh, Dark Ritual to try and get a little bit of additional mana. It looked like it was a Dark Ritual, but that was more of a denial than anything else. As the Ancient Protector will need to eat some trees to try and offer a bit of protection meanwhile demon hunter absorbing a bit of damage there goes a cancellation again spirit tower now online operating to try and get in some more damage here as the lich has no easy way to try and escape especially with the naga sea witch and that and those cold arrows lich trying to dance away and it looks like well lubber is going to be in trouble neutron saying you know what you tried to go for a weird strategy and i am going to absolutely punish you as that lich gets taken down Back down across over here, the Ancient Protector, well, wasn't very well protected himself as it gets taken down by towers of its own. Crypt Fiend now trying to get back on the Blight, should have a little bit of additional protection, but now blocked into his own corner right there as he will get taken down even though he is on Blight. Uh, so far, Demon Hunter now slipping back off to the north again. Give me one second. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, daughter was having a meltdown in the kitchen, not able to find things. All right, getting back into the game. Uh, <laughs> heading back off to the north here. Uh, Demon, hunt, Demon Hunter knocks a sea witch.
neutron now moving off over gonna go ahead and continue that creeping and we see a tree of life being built off to the north here to try and set up an expansion neutron knows that he's punished his opponent lubber's expansion for quite a little bit but he needs to set up his own expansion to be able to um, well stay in this game uh, meanwhile um um Meanwhile, coming back across, Lich now resurrected back at that tavern right there. That tavern, oh, well, gonna go ahead and end up losing a Crypt Fiend as well. And Neutron really making Lubber pay for this as Neutron continued to grow his lead. Meanwhile, back across back across on the other side you naga see which perhaps gonna be able to get off some more cold arrows here huntress is trying to get in into harm's way however the lich may actually be able to take down some of those units the crypt fiends have very good burst damage against those huntresses one or two attacks as the cold arrows now slow down those crypt fiends again all right um making its way back there is a mana burn not sure if it's financially but strategically 100 percent if repairing isn't equal one to one build cost um i don't think repairing is one to one 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 to one for that build cost but and i'd have to you know, take economic lessons in warcraft 3 to really make sure of that necropolis about to be completed off to the side here lubber has gotten to two bases with 40 or 40 supply compared to 37 he is in an all right position the real downside is that he only has a single hero he only has a single hero and he is behind um, in terms of his overall experience. He does have an expansion currently operating even though Neutron will get his up and running momentarily. It does take some time before that entangled gold mine is done. All right, coming back around, there goes another forest troll again. Tree of Life going to go ahead and eat through as the Crypt Fiends and well, going to go ahead and take down this Tuscar Trapper off to the side. Lich is sitting at level 3. Crypt Fiend's Death Knight now joining in on the fight. So we have a level 3 Lich, level 1 Death Knight going up against a level 3 a Demon Hunter. Naga Siewicz sitting at 2.8. Should be able to get up to level 3 here in just a moment as well. And we'll see whether she goes for Fork Lightning or an additional charge on those Cold Arrows. Neutron now already at tier tier two going into tier three. He should be able to get mastery training on those bears here in just a moment. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter going after the, the trackers and the sorcerers now. N Naga Siewicz just a little bit away from level three as the Death Knight tries to get to level two and should be able to get there as long as that Lich is backing off at the right moments. Death Knight sitting at level one. That is the real Death Knight there. It looks like he's going to go ahead and head over here to the Goblin Merchant Shop. Look to pick up some items, sell some as well, as we are looking at the Lich still doing some more creeping too. Going after that web spinner first, always making sure to, well, clear out the creep camp if you want to do so fast. Death Knight still making its way over, about to get to level two here as the Arachnid will get taken down. Death Knight does have access to Death Coil, so it should be able to heal up all of those remaining units. Neutron has an army of Druids of the Claw in Druid form still, um, perhaps trying to hope to get a couple of additional rejuvenations off or perhaps top, uh, top off that mana. D does a destroying a building give resources back? It does, but not the full resources. Meanwhile, we're looking at the Magnetar Reaver and all of these um, units well, trying to escape back here. Death Knight being, uh, I believe, a scroll of healing was used. We are, do have a potion of greater healing as well as the Magnetar Reaver is going to drop a hood of cunning agility and intelligence right there. Obsidian Statue now providing a lot of cover and Neutron not quite sure how to engage here as the Druid of the Claw should be going into Druid form. The Death Knight, well, able to um, w be whisked away as the Lich did use that scroll of Town Portal. All right, coming, coming uh, back around. Um, uh, well, Druid of the Claw um, now, well, still in that Druid form, perhaps wanting to be able to use some rejuvenations army off to the south here lubber is actually not in a bad spot at all level four level two um going up against a level three level three demon hunter going to be getting to level four momentarily and we're also looking at the undead army sitting on an obsidian statue um lich uh, perhaps going to try to land in a couple of major frost novas uh, the question is going to become whether or not these druids of the claw are in druid form at the start of the engagement if they are, they're going to be prime targets for Lubber with that level 2 Frost Nova and eventual level 2 Death Coil. 
to finish off or do deal large amounts of damage to that druid of the claw before he gets up to that 960 hit points back on the other side here death knight finishing off the last of the skeletal warriors once again is he perhaps going to try to finish off the other magnetar reaver as there is an well a proxy ancient of war acting as a bit of a scout a now Neutron is attempting to set up a tree of life, but there is sentry wards in position to spot all of this. All right, Goblin Sapper, what is the ghoul going to do? Are the ghouls actually going to take some damage? Yes, they will, but the Goblin Sapper gets there in time and finishes off that right there. More damage coming across once again. We're going to perhaps see the Ogre Magi get taken down. Magnetar Reaver making its way over. Is the Magnetar Reaver just going to get bursted down here? Demon Hunter with Rejuvenation dives on in. Mana Burn onto the Death Knight. Death Coil, Frost Nova onto that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, however, is still getting healed back up as the Magnetar Reaver. Death Knight needs to pick up that item. Is he going to just sw swaps it for a Ring of Protection plus three? And all it cost him was a Crypt Fiend. Okay. Set up. You're good now, right, Arya? Okay, I'll give you this screen. All right. Uh, dryads, Archers, all across over here. Neutron. Well, Neutron didn't... Um, did have a little bit of scouting information from this Ancient of War. We're looking at 64 to 62 supply, slight advantage for Neutron, but um, very slight indeed. Lich is sitting at level 4, Death Knight sitting at level 3. Hero levels are pretty comparable between the Undead and the Night Elf army. And what is interesting about this particular game is um, both players got here about the same time or, or have a similar strategy two bases with two heroes um, at tier three but they got here very differently and as i say that they're the same um, of, of course lubber has to prove me wrong and go for a fire lord as a third hero meanwhile back in here on the back side this goblin zeppelin gonna go ahead and drop for an, a haunted gold mine destruction scroll of town portal is right there as well scroll of town portal trying to uh, pick up units that were absorbing a bit too much damage and a couple of scrolls a couple of pickups on those bear to save those low hit point units fire lord still having plenty of mana and what's interesting is the warsong well no the warsong battle drum does not give attack speed only in endurance um, um uh, only um, damage bonus but that is still going to be very effective uh, for a moment i thought if the attack speed was given to that fire lord all of a sudden that fire lord would be able to um, drop lava spawns that were, would be able to well split much more quickly but it isn't going to be lava spawns it is oh my goodness i keep on forgetting the name of that particular ability i, I believe is, is it soulburn or is it i believe it's soulburn and um, we'll see if that is the case or if, is that even soulburn incinerate i think is that is that the auto attack of is that the is that the ability where if it uh, the unit takes damage it ends up like blowing up all right there goes that unit no, um, well no so far no mana coming in from the fire lord at all death knight taking a lot of damage mountain giants now in in that front line location as we are looking at bears falling neutron with uh, has, having a staff of preservation but not using it perhaps trying to save it for that demon hunter but that demon hunter um, well, could have been taken down quite a bit longer or needed to be saved or could have saved at least two bears since the cooldown is so short. Death Knight now going after that Naga Sea Witch. Naga Sea Witch down to 154 hit points. And it is that Soul Burn right there. So much damage to be had in Death Knight. And Goblin Zeppelin is picked up right there. All right, there goes a Dryad as well. Demon Hunter with an army of Mountain Giants trying to save or lay down a foundation. This is going to be rather problematic. There is a reveal as the Death Knight still wandering around here. Those are Burrowed Crypt Fiends. Naga Sea Witch shows up to the party. Death Knight gets a Death Coil off onto some of those Crypt Fiends. And will it be able to perhaps cause a bit of traffic for the Mountain Giants? Mountain Giants get into Frost Nova as well. It is a little bit slowed down. However, it shakes off that coldness and able to head back. All right, Soul Burn is the d damage over time. Silence, Incinerate is the stacking damage explosion. Um, is, yeah. And we see a Tree of Life coming in from Neutron over here on the bottom side. And so far, mana is being given to the Fire Lord. The Fire Lord is a normally a really mana-intensive hero, so having Obsidian Statues it does work out very well right there as we're looking at, um, well, nope, the Dryad just constantly removing 
that soul burn ability that is diamond damage over time silence i believe as the fire lord just continuing to make its rounds well known all right nagasi we're trying to back up again mountain giants engaging against all of these units pretty freely mountain giants actually don't deal quite that much damage but can absorb a lot of that damage indeed mountain giants picking up some clubs now have a little bit of range damage mana burn onto some more units crypt fiends unable to finish off that 13 hit point dryad there as the mountain giants still acting as giant pin cushions absorbing so much damage once again all right trying to absorb some more damage however wow that just that uh, well that demon hunter getting taken down in a pretty much in an instant only to see the fire lord in that exchange as well more damage coming back across the crypt fiends going after those mountain giants crypt fiends however don't deal as much damage there is a, a reveal as the burrowed crypt fiends could end up getting taken down uh, well i believe that was actually dark ritual to get a little bit more mana all right another burrowed crypt fiend hiding in the ground abomination ready to join in on the fight and we're going to see some of that damage getting absorbed by that burrowed crypt fiend burrowed crypt fiend actually has medium armor so medium armor means that it takes significantly less damage as the death knight gets up to level four fork lightning coming in from behind once more and this is just an odd odd game mass mountain giants going up against mass crypting staff of preservation finally being used by neutron as this is just um, well strange across the board dryads now showing up uh, or trying to show up to the party from the back we see a low or a druid of the claw in the back he absorbs a large amount of damage or some damage before the well the druids of the claw take to the skies again all right low hit point druid of the claw taken down already as the burrowed crypt fiend will be able to stick around and and stay alive for a little while longer demon hunter going after now those destroyers as they ups as that orb of venom will cause some damage over time as the units now try and run away naga Siwich down to 101 hit points staff of preservation saves as this destroyer down to 63 may try and back up again uh so far what is happening lich sitting at level five it is gonna back away as well i don't see a disease cloud anywhere we are seeing neutron sitting up on three bases here but he only has one wisp in this gold mine not really mining anything at all um he hasn't mined any gold at all finally mining one um well 10 gold there okay coming back around dryads mountain giants two three upgrades no expansion hanging off to the side here and finally lubber is behind economically as neutron it should be starting to saturate this gold mine finally getting up to three wisp just needs two more to finish it off or may try and transfer some from the main base knowing that the main base is about to be mined out demon hunter shows up to the party tomb of relics about to get taken down mountain giants are here with their giant bone clubs abomination is joining in on the fight as well how much damage can be done as the destroyers are there death coil frost nova and there is that um well there is that soul burn and damage over time well, incinerate and soul burn are both the abilities here not lava spawn all right so fire lord not being used for his typical typical ability this is still rather strange this uh, if you guys got to remember this is a pro a pro tour qualifier um, matchup and as metaphysics mentioned you normally do not see such strange strategies at the higher levels of play you try usually generally see tried and true strategies um and well with that said and done um, we'll see what is going to be unfolding here as this tree of life could get taken down demon hunter comes in mana burn onto that demon on onto that lich already there is a potion of lesser invulnerability tree of life could get taken down abominations look like they're going to show up as well and it looks like disease cloud has been applied to all of the units wisps trying to get away and well disease cloud going to slowly tick away at the hit points of some of those units the expansion was destroyed though that's exactly what lubber needed to do in order to stay in this matchup as the abominations fire army rotate back off to the north overall supply is about the same 75 to 73 65 supply army compared to 55. A player's forces are under attack. demon hunter sitting at level four meanwhile the lich is sitting at level five Le that level three frost nova really causing problems and the demon hunter hasn't been able to get to level three mana burn either that has been the main issue there goes um a huntress right there fire lord having well both incinerate and soul burn and what what effect will that possibly have as they now make their way over to that 12 o'clock expansion location 
neutrons expansion 79 over 8 showing 79 over 80 supply um, we don't see any meat wagons here but this army with those a couple of abominations can deal a lot of damage three four abominations are here and with that said and done the tree of life gonna well take a lot of damage now neutron in trouble as he is going to be behind on bases here in just a moment mass detonation being used as well lich sitting at level five and now all lubber needs to do is sit back relax and enjoy the economic game for another 17 seconds all right main gold mines are going to be mined out here in just a moment and what does that mean it means oh how much gold is here uh, it, it means that even though he has about 2900 more gold than his opponent he's not gonna have much to show for it meanwhile we are going into double chimera uh, production from these two roosts right there double chimeras will make short work of those abominations the question is going to be whether or not the crypt fiends will be able to web them down fast enough to try and shut them down back across here one goblin zeppelin still keeping track of this haunted gold mine great great way of being able to scout without your opponent knowing that you are scouting unless you head to the back of the gold mine which is exactly what what lubber does all right <laughs> So Lubber knowing about this expansion already, but you, um, sorry, Neutron knowing about the expansion already, but Lubber setting up an expansion over here on the top left and the bottom right at the same time. Simultaneous expansions while putting on pressure. Neutron is in trouble. Will the Demon Hunter and Naga Sea Witch be able to hold on? Losing full moon wells at this point is not what Neutron wants to do losing full moon wells um, is actually losing health and mana on your units especially if you plan on fighting inside your base a lone goblin shredder however has made its way over to the expansion location and that goblin shredder should be able to do a lot of damage to these acolytes at least prevent mining meanwhile the tree of eternity now in high upkeep gonna start entangling that gold mine that does mean that staff of preservation is not going to be bringing units back to the moon wells so the demon hunter um, is not going to be able to well staff of preservation staff of teleportation back and forth mountain giants leading the charge those chimeras also have siege damage as well you can see that burst damage that death coil very late as the web finally being brought down now demon hunter in that front line spot we're taking a look chimeras should get focused down pretty quickly there goes one chimera as the fire lord continuing to go after all of those units and uh, is i believe the incinerate uh, is based off of the the starting hit points or the overall hit points of the unit the fire lord has fallen at level two but um and the lich now being able to use a scroll of town portal at the very last possible moment 56 supply compared to 67 neutron having the advantage now and that's with well um a couple of his hit units very very low on hit points back here we see a cancellation and that night elf army is in fact scary um if i remember incinerate in the incinerate um the incinerate does damage based on the i believe it based does damage after the unit dies on the on the overall hit points of the unit and if that is the case that is the counter that um, people were looking for to deal with those mountain giants mountain giants having 1600 hit points i, I need to remember i need to reread up what incinerate does um, I, there have been so many patches um, but right now neutron does have 62 supply compared to 63 neutron is mining over here there is still some mining going off over here of, on the lubber as well incinerate explosion is set damage based on the ability uh, on the ability level all right i thought it was like a set percentage based on the unit that died so if you go after like bigger units i thought it you know the bigger the, the bigger they are the harder they blow up maybe all right so constant damaging going on back and forth demon hunter now trying to dive on in to the necropolis here the mining of this gold mine will get shut down pretty quickly as the one acolyte now trying to back away army does show up to the party here dryads um, are here trying to absorb abomination should be in that front line mana burn onto those units as you see well a quick taunt causing those chimeras to be able to finish off those units in pretty much no time flat fire lord shows up only to get mana burned pretty much out of out of commission already chimeras finishing off the obsidian statues in no time as well 
as that is so much damage to be had. Crypt Fiends going after the Chimeras. Chimeras taking so much damage as well. Fork Lightning trying to go after all that unit. I believe it was also trying to get the Fire Lord in its tracks as well, but unable to do exactly that as all the Chimeras are now taken down. Lich in trouble. Potion of Greater Healing transferred to the Lich. It stays alive. Uh, Destroyers trying to, go in, trying to go after the remaining units. Obsidian statues are here. There's a Fork Lightning. Both the Death Knight and the Lich in the red zone as they are trying to escape. And it looks like they will be able to do exactly that that lich down to 111 hit points and able to head back again all right coming back around there's that death coil to save there's a potion of healing and that what dryad will get taken down lich still sitting at level five as it looks as though the army of lubber is going to be enough here whoever is retreating is usually the end one ending up taking more damage as there goes come on, oh he's at four hit points staff of preservation saves of course it does all right Lubber backing away. Random number generation didn't go in favor of Lubber right there as the, well, health regeneration and uh, minimal damage causing problems. However, Mountain Giant going to go ahead and get, uh, get blasted. Um, there, that explosion looked pretty big as the units now making their way back off to the north. Okay, 52 supply compared to 47. Both sides are still mining on one base each. This gold mine only has two minutes of mining left. And with that, the Tree of Eternity of Neutron will have to make its way over here. Meanwhile, however, there is one Chimera with, well, siege damage able to finish this off. Is the Crypt Fiends going to be able to web down that unit? Yes, there it goes. And that Chimera is pretty much stuck once more. All right, Demon Hunter getting some damage off onto those units. We're going to look at the Fire Lord, perhaps using that auto attack in order to finish off some of those units again crypt fiend and what well, death knight lich 543 going up against almost a level six demon hunter and almost a level six naga sea witch whoever whoever gets the first couple of first kills is going to make the big difference right there there is now level five on the death knight level three death coil abomination going to go ahead and well no death coiled right uh, death coil onto the demon hunter demon hunter now trying to retreat back death knight not having that much more mana mountain giant taunts even though it is himself low on health as he's going to get taken down as well lich gets up to level six as the fire lord is at level three are we going to see a death coil yes we are death knight still has enough mana for another death coil as well as the units are now making their rounds back again destroyers getting in some damage demon hunter naga sea witch as level six level five on the demon hunter demon hunter going after that lich is he going to be able to finish it off acolytes while trying to do a little bit of blocking naga sea witch is there level six now on the demon hunter metamorphosis could be coming under play mana burn onto the death knight death knight now in trouble as the metamorphosis is now going to get some extra damage on the lich lich gets taken down and lubber looks like he's going to be able to shut down that level six lich and perhaps finish off the game there goes a couple of bears though 14 supply compared to 36 obsidian statue about to get taken down it is lost metamorphosis demon hunter trying to carry everything on its back as the level six naga sea witch falls as well death knight chasing after the metamorphosis demon hunter demon Hunter trying to back away acolytes still mining once more and what is this game going to demon hunter getting up to level six as well mining only having a little bit more than a minute left there is another mana burn and well with that said damage is gonna well this gold mine is perhaps gonna get taken down obsidian statue providing a little bit of health and mana once more do we have enough gold to resurrect a hero no we do not as both sides are trying to get restabilized. This bottom corner expansion, ha nothing is going on there. We're looking at, well, the demon Death Knight picking up a potion of lesser invulnerability. The Death Knight, now the leader of this army by default, as the remaining heroes are lost. Economy Neutron. Um, Neutron only has what? 30 uh, 330 more gold a demon hunter however making its way back over metamorphosis is on cooldown that is very important to note as the demon hunter perhaps going to try and shut down these acolytes here still 10 minutes of mining left demon hunter shows up to the party that acolyte trying to back away it is gonna well get taken down without much of an issue death coil onto that demon hunter naga sea which is back out onto the battlefield how was that so fast fork lightning coming back across destroyers are right there death knight is in trouble potion of lesser invulnerability could be used is it used? Yes. No, it is not used. Death Knight had a potion of invulnerability and did not use it. Demon Hunter and Nanga Sea, which should be able to finish off the remainder um, of, of this here. What was Lubber thinking as he allowed that to happen? Meanwhile, unsummoning of go the gold mine off to the north. And I, I am... 
ah, uh, in awe of what is happening in this game. A quick reveal, finishing off perhaps a, 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 some of the burrowed crypt fiends, but the burrowed crypt fiends still, and um, um, well, they, that reveal doesn't last all that long as the demon hunter gets that last shot off there. All right, Neutron, very much in this game now as the Tree of Eternity is rotating over and uh, and that potion of invulnerability alongside, yeah, Obsidian statues and a Death Knight could have been enough to get back into this game. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Lubber must be on absolute tilt right now knowing that he's letting this game escape from him. He would have lost the DK and, well... He, uh, he would have lost the DK, but then he at least would have been, he would have had more gold in the gold mine or have been able to save a handful of those Crypt Fiends as, as they would have, as the Death Knight and the Naga Sea, which would have been forced to chase after the Death Knight for an additional seven seconds or so. Um, yeah, um, that could have been the difference right there or at least back on Blight or, or something. Um, that, that really just surprised me right there. All right. Frost Nova um, onto the Metamorphosis Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter Mana burns the Lich, followed by a Fork Lightning. And well, that Lich already in trouble. He, she is, or it is trying to hide in the very, very back. Death or Fire Lord now getting resurrected alongside that Death Knight, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Level seven now on the Naga Sea Witch. Damage now onto the. Um, uh, damage now onto that Naga Sea Witch as well, but the Demon Hunter still doing a lot of crazy damage. There is now a Monsoon, or uh, a Tornado, excuse me, being used to try and perhaps destroy the Black Citadel, and that should be the end of that here. Naga Sea Witch may be forced to try and cancel in just a moment, but that is the GG. Neutron taking the game in the end, getting to level 7 on both his Demon Hunter and that Naga Sea Witch. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.